What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. We've been talking a lot lately about Facebook Ads Manager and the Events Manager. And the reason why is because there's some amazing things you can do while you're running ads to track back the effectiveness of those ads to the goals on your website. So if you're a lead generation website and you have some lead generation form that you want people to fill out and you wanna know is your Facebook ad doing a good job at bringing those conversions to your website? It's a little bit easier even for e-commerce websites to have a purchase conversion. Now, the Facebook tracking pixel is one piece, and there's a lot of resources on our website, dataoveropinions.com, and in a lot of earlier data-driven daily tips that show you all about the Facebook pixel and the data that you can get from the pixel. However, one commonality is it's been a little bit difficult to set up these conversions. Now we've showed you how to set up a custom conversion using the pixel in a different data-driven daily tip. Today, we're gonna show you how Facebook has made it even easier for marketers and non-technical marketers to set up these important conversions and integrate them with their Facebook pixel. Again, the purpose is to run ad campaigns and then see the ROI on those ad campaigns. So let's get right into it. You're going to go into Facebook Business Manager, of course, and then when you go up to the main hamburger menu, you're going to hover over all tools and it's going to slide out our nice menu here. And under the measure and report column, under events manager, you're gonna go down to the bottom one, partner integrations. Now this is new. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up all of your partner integrations now. It's basically, you don't, need, you don't even need a web developer to do this anymore. You basically have your account with your partner. So if you're an e-commerce website, they now integrate with BigCommerce, 3D Cart, Eventbrite, Magento, Storeden, Shopify, of course, PrestaShop, OpenCart, and WooCommerce. So of course we've worked with most of these. Uh, our favorites are Shopify, WooCommerce. We've worked with BigCommerce, Eventbrite, and Magento. But basically you're gonna step through the step-by-step -step details of hooking up your store. So we have a WooCommerce store. We're gonna click on WooCommerce and it's gonna take us through that step-by-step -step process. Um, there's also gonna be some screenshots in the blog post where this video appears at dataoveropinions.com that step you through easily the Shopify process. It's super easy. So um, the other, uh, other integrations here that you can see, uh, website platforms, Drupal, uh, Jimdo, Joomla, Squarespace, Wix, and WordPress. So these are gonna be different conversions that are gonna be available uh, where you can see the traffic data, the page view data, and different um, conversions that you might have set up in those platforms. CRM and marketing software. This is obviously gonna be huge for a lot of you. Infusionsoft, we have clients that work with Infusionsoft, Salesforce, Zoho, and so what this is gonna be is integrating your Facebook ad and how well it drives leads into these platforms. So that's gonna be huge for marketers. Hit us up if you need help on any of this because we will make sure that your Facebook ads are running directly into your CRM and you have those ROI numbers set up properly. And then of course, tag management, which we're huge on. Google Tag Manager, this is something that can be done on any website, you can install Google Tag Manager. We have resources on that. Once you have the Tag Manager platform in place, you can create any kind of conversion you want. And now it's really, really nice to know that you can attribute that back to your Facebook ads. So data-driven marketing is becoming easier and easier for the non-technical marketer to set up. And if you have any kind of questions on any of this, all you have to do is email me at paul at datadriven.design. For more resources, go to dataoveropinions.com. And of course, for those of you listening on the podcast or watching on YouTube or IGTV, we appreciate that. If you saw the link on LinkedIn, we appreciate that. However, you can also listen on Alexa by going to datadrivendaily.com on your Alexa-enabled device and uh, getting our Alexa flash briefing skill. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day!